Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully implemented the counter app using the options API. Now it's time for us to implement the same thing to convert the same thing into an composition API. So I am commenting out this one so that we can have it for your future reference. So here, what I will try to do is so here I am using I am using the same thing script. Okay, here we are having some data, right? So let's try to remove this one all. Now I'm using export default. And we need to have a setup method. So now the composition API, so we can implement with this one within two, two different patterns. So two different patterns are there. One is using the setup method. So which was introduced when the composition API has first came. So this is a setup method. So I'll, I'll try to explain you about the setup method also. So this one is this one has came when the first composition api came so the we need to implement using this setup method and now we also have an another method that another pattern that is nothing but we can directly inject the setup here in the script so i will try to explain you that one also so first we'll try to do with we we'll try to implement with the original pattern so here this is the setup and in this setup so what we need to do here like this the first step what we need to do is so we need to initialize the counter variable so here the counter variable so this counter variable needs to react with the javascript logic so that means the template needs to re the variable needs to react with the javascript logic so here in the composition api so the variables the reactive variables we can define it in two ways so one is using the reactive and another one is using the ref so ref is used for a single data objects like prim pri primitive data objects like what i can say number string and all those things we can use a single value and reactive is used for using the object object or array type of data okay so that is the main thing so reactive is used for the object type of data and the ref is used for the which holds the single value data here the counter is a single value so it holds only the single value so we can use it the ref and we'll try to use the reactive also i'll try to explain you those all the things so ref we'll try to use the ref so here i am using constant counter is equal to ref of zero so here we need to give the defa default value and here this ref we need to include it so we need to import it if you try to see here ref so this ref needs to be imported from the import ref from view and after sending off this one all so we need to return this one so this setup so we need to return this one all so here in this setup so we need to return the counter so this is the main thing we need to understand so here what is the problem we are getting here what is the error let's try to maximize it single file component can contain only one script so whether it is not commented or what okay okay at the bottom this one is not commented let's try to remove this one all this one is not getting commented or what okay let's try to remove this one or otherwise we'll try to remove it everything okay so i don't want to make it yeah so now the script is there so let's try to refresh it why it's not working or what yeah now it's able to work so now we need to return this one so whatever the methods are the variables we are trying to use it in the template so we need to return as an object here so that these are all the things will be used here so if i try to make it as a 10 now here see automatically this has become 10 so like this so the default value now we have introduced this one so now we need to have this decrease counter and the increase counter so what can i do here so we need a function okay we can create it directly like this function increase counter and another one is function decrease counter that's it so in this decrease counter and the increase counter what i need to do is i need to increase this counter so we should not use counter plus plus like this so the ref values so you need to use it something like counter dot value it, it is a property it is available in the value counter dot value plus plus in the same scenario you can use counter dot value minus minus that's it so now we need to make it available this increase counter and decrease counter to the template so that means here i need to add increase counter and also decrease counter that's it so if you try to see the output i will try to refresh this page and here if i play, press enter so everything is working fine but this time we have implemented using the composition api so what are the concepts we have used it here the counter the ref thing so which holds the single value so whenever you want to use have a reactive value which holds a single value means you can use the ref 
or otherwise it is an object means it's better to use the reactive there that's it so now here we are using the setup and all those things right and all the times what are the values or methods which are available to the template so we need to return it here as this component or as this application is uh, this component is simple it involves less variables and the methods so returning this one is okay fine it's okay but if the project is very if the component is very bigger and we have lot of lot of variables that should be referenced to the template means then we need to add all these things means it will become so much of difficult for us to maintain so because of that reason in the latest composition api or in the latest versions so it has been introduced a new thing that so if you use the setup here automatically the everything code you can remove it so there is no need for us to use the setup here and also there is no need to use the export default these are all the things you can remove it and also here also you can remove it and i think this one also we can remove it and at the final we can remove this one also not a problem it's not a problem so this is it so now we have decreased so much of lines has been decreased the scaffolding code everything has been removed so just we are importing and we are initializing the variable and here we are having the two functions that's it so these are all the things whatever the functions and also whatever the variables you are trying to use it here automatically it will be useful in the template now if you try to see the output so then also it will work without any problem and if i try to make it as 10 100 110 automatically 110 will come here so here you'll be able to increase it here without any problem so this is how we'll be using the composition api and here one other thing before closing what i want to tell you is so if you want you can also use the latest es6 implementation something like constant counter oh where is this one constant counter is equal to so like this also you can use it without any problem so those are all things so don't think that we need to use it something like a function only okay so like this also we can use it without any problem and if i try to refresh this page so if i click on the one two three four and like so everything is working fine so this is how we will be implementing the composition api so now before before closing this one i will try to explain it one once again so that you can have a clear understanding and here now you be, people will be able to understand what is this setup thing so if you don't use this setup thing we need to use it inside a setup function and we need to use the export default and also in the setup function in the setup method what you need to do you need to return that variables and also the methods whichever you are trying to reference in that template so that is a, one of the main thing you need to understand but in the latest composition api when you use a setup inside a script uh, beside the script so now you can directly use these all the things and you these all the variables and the methods which are trying to use automatically it will be referenced in the template so this is our thing and also the ref is also one of the things so whenever you want to make a variable reactive to the template so then you need to use the ref and also if there is another method it's a reactive we'll try to learn about these things in the upcoming videos so this is all about the composition api if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.